Welcome, uh, Kenneth, and uh, first of all, thank you because you took the time to participate in this interview slash yes. world service. <laughs> yes. So could you tell us a little about uh, what is the name of your, uh, what is your own name and what is the name of your group? And what yes, uh, my name is Ken Sorensen and uh, I'm in head of uh, uh, what's called Kentaur Training and Publishing. And we are a small group that is uh, working with uh, publication on one hand and also uh, teaching uh, in, in meditation and psychosynthesis and uh, running some meditation projects too. So we, have, we are widely engaged in what you could call evolution of consciousness okay. in, uh, in many different aspects of it. Yes. So uh, you are part of this WSI, World Service Integrated. Uh, what does it mean to you to, to be a part of, uh, of this? Uh, I, I think it's a, 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 it's a very important thing to be part of a group, uh, especially a group that uh, link up with, with the values that you are, that you are dedicated to. And I think uh, the, the most exciting thing with the World Service Intergroup is that it consists of so many different groups uh, worldwide mm. and uh, it is a great opportunity to to, to carry your own uh, ideas out to a larger whole and, uh, and the opposite uh, way around, also to be inspired by all the uh, experiences and uh, all the, the thoughts and ideas that all the other groups has, has done. Okay. Because it's, it's actually the world today is, is one large, uh, you could call it, laboratory of consciousness Yes. And we are sitting there in all the different places in the world and, and looking into that great mystery of the One Consciousness. I think in order to really have a clear picture about what is going on in the world today, we have to have so many different perspectives coming in from many different sources. Hmm. Because uh, we look at it from our one perspectives and find some interesting mm. things but we, we never see the whole picture no uh, we need that uh, group mind yeah. to uh, actually really uh, create the enlightenment okay. and this is what for me what world service intergroup is mm. is all about uh, the bringing to build to, together of all the different mind and, and uh, the consciousness of the whole okay. group do, do you call it group mind to, to experience this uh, group mind in your own work, uh, does being a part of this global network in any way influence your own uh, work? Ab absolutely. Uh, uh, one uh, essential part of my own meditation training is to, whenever I meditate every day, I link up with the whole world group. Hmm. And uh, it gives a, a very significant expansion of consciousness. It's like if you really believe in it and if you really tune into that frequency of the world consciousness, uh, you can see the frequency where, where your group brothers and sisters are, are working, then it's, um, uh, you, you, you feel like you are carried on, mm -hmm. on a much larger wave and you are supported by, by many people that you don't even know of in, in the physical plane. Uh, and then together on such an event as the World Service Intergroup is, you, you meet those persons in, in, in person, in mm. the flesh, so to say. Okay. So it, it gives you a much more tangible um, feedback of what it is that you actually are experiencing when you are meditating. And okay. also, also in the group, we are doing yeah. full moon meditations mm. and so, and there we also link up with the world group. Okay. So uh, it's a very important thing. Would you, would you like to share what your experience is with this change of vibration when you uh, shift to the global? Mm. Uh, what, 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 how do you experience that? Just uh, out yeah. of curiosity. Uh, I, exper I experienced that whenever you meditated uh, or meditating, uh, then there is uh, f first the, uh, the alignment process or the abstraction process where you sense that you, now I'm still an individual, I'm caught in this, you could call it a separated consciousness. Mm -hmm. But then you tune into the, the, the larger world group and you just letting go and uh, let your consciousness go out to the, 
to the wild world, then it's like the, the individual borders disappear okay. and, 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 and a larger sphere of consciousness just opens up like, like a big sky. Hmm. But it's not empty. It's, uh, it's full of, what can you see, um, particularly, uh, particularly uh, qualities. Uh, it could be, I work a lot with, with uh, Buddha Maitreya in, in, in my meditations. Yes. So the quality of, of uh, compassion or, and the quality of group love is, uh, is very strong when you, when you specifically connect with the whole group. And it, it's an impression of love going out from you to the whole group, but also the, uh, the other way around, that, that it is love coming to you as, uh, as a soul. So there is this, this exchange of, of love going on in a huge wide space where you feel uh, plugged into, uh, you could call it uh, some kind of a big womb or, or uh, yeah, it's a very soft, uh, um, uplifting uh, mm. quality. You call it a state. You call it a womb. Do you, do you consider what is going on like a, a, some kind of birth process, or is that? A yeah, yes, that's 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 actually a, a, a very good point. Very good point, because from from that expanded awareness of group consciousness, and the group here is worldwide. It is actually. Uh, all of humanity that is identified with that particularly frequency of consciousness is part of that group. Mm. And from that group field, from that expanded awareness, a lot of ideas is born, a lot of uh, uh, significant insights uh, are coming through from that expanded uh, awareness. And it could be all types of uh, uh, flashes of intuition or, or just whole packages uh, about the, the nature of the inner things, the mm -hmm. nature of reality, mm -hmm. or, or also very specific uh, guidelines to how you could uh, evolve and, and uh, your work and yeah, your, your service work. Mm. You mentioned the values of uh, your own values earlier and the, the values of WSI was yeah. uh, interlinked. Uh, yeah. And one of the key concepts in WSI is this um, concept of the reappearance of the Christ yes. and also in the teachings of the uh, Tibetan. Yes. Uh, what is your uh, own, ex how do you, well, how do you explain yeah. this uh, <laughs> event? Uh, I'm very happy to have that answer because it's very dear to my heart. Uh, it's, uh, uh, it's, let me say it like that, it, it, it's a stream of consciousness, um, the whole reappearance thing. It's, uh, for me, it's, I'm very much connected to the, what the Buddhists call the future of Buddha Maitreya. That's the stream that I'm connected into and it's the same as the Christ. Okay. Christ and Maitreya is exactly the same mm -hmm. inner consciousness, mm -hmm. inner being that, that has that obligation to, to create uh, uh, oneness, to, to create that expansion of awareness where we all, be, where we all experience that we are the one soul. So we see uh, at the moment now a global awakening to the fact that we are the one. So we see the, the, the global consciousness. But my 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 inner my inner realization of my prayer is that this great being that is holding the space of you could call it cosmic consciousness that is uh, and it, and it is qualified by love without an object. This this great being, when, when you tune into that being, and I have, I have a very particular mantra that I'm using, uh, uh, created by Lucille Sidakrantz, that mm -hmm. I work with uh, yeah. every morning. So, uh, to work with that type of mantra and linking up with, with Maitreya and mm -hmm. the whole world group, it gives you, uh, it gives you, uh, it gives you a very strong touch with the quality that Maitreya is emanating, the loving kindness, okay. uh, in the in the Tibetan's work, it's called the goodwill, yeah. goodwill that creates uh, right human relations. Yeah. So, in one plane, in 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 one end aspect of it is that your 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 connection with Maitreya in your daily meditations broadens your consciousness, plug you into a wide field, that that gradually stabilizes your ability to. To, to transmit loving kindness in your everyday life. Mm. But most importantly, 
it's it all for me for instance uh, I, I I believe that there is a, a very specific job going on in the inner worlds I feel that the preparation work that is going on right now actually involves uh, that we clean the the emotional inner emotional levels from all the uh, different poisons in there anger greed uh, jealousy and we clean whole the whole collective sphere by sending loving kindness okay. into it yeah so and that is that is happening through our own reactions so through our own negative reactions and, and by addressing them with loving kindness, we also very definitely work on the collective sphere. Mm. So I see whatever enters my energy system as, as a collective uh, energy stream and as well it has also an anchor point in me and by tuning into a Maitreya and using that energy it is a very transforming experience. Mm. Uh, I was thinking, would you like to share the, the mantra you are saying? What, what is yes, the words? Uh, yes. you know, is uh, the mantra is, uh, uh, and we sing it, so I will okay. sing it. Uh, Om Ahom Maitreya Om Ahom Maitreya Come into my body, speech and mind Maitreya And Om relates to the head center Ah relates to the speech or mm. the, the throat center mm. and whom relates to the to the heart center. Oh. So uh, this uh, using that mantra and, and visualizing Maitreya coming from a point above mm. and entering your mind stream and mm. entering your the central channel going down here and then uh, stabilizes in the heart where he pulsates or emanates the loving kindness in the heart. Mm. Uh, this is a very, very uh, deep practice. That there's there's more to it than that, but mm. this is the essential part. Yeah, I feel the power in it. I can feel the uh, yeah. resonance. And this, uh, yeah. yeah, and a lot of a lot of people has uh, used it. So you know, uh, it there's all all there's already created some kind of in a highway. Yeah, uh, you can hook up to. Yes, yeah, you yeah. can hook up. So yeah. you're not going to to create. Uh, the, the link yourself, there are many people that have created that highway mm. uh, yeah. into uh, into the presence of my trail. Yeah. yeah. Uh, as a concluding question here, Kenneth, you are, you live here in, in Denmark. Yes. The Danish culture, is there any special um, possibilities or maybe challenges in the Danish culture regarding the reappearance of the Christ, do you think? <laughs> it's a big question, I know, yeah. but... Uh, yeah, I, I think there's a, a a lot of challenges mm -hmm. because uh, people mm, think it's a little odd that you believe uh, in some inner being coming. Uh, but I think uh, it really needs an intelligent and uh, and uh, you could also joyful presentation because it's all about actually bringing love into humanity. It's all about uh, touching the hearts of, mm. of uh, the people we know. Um, so I think that the notion or the thought that there is some inner being uh, that once again will will, and I, I think the return of the Christ or the return of the Maitreya Buddha will first be the awakening of the love principle in the heart. So it will first come as some kind of uh, love experience where we prepare the ground, we establish right human relations mm. and that will um, that will create a new civilization with justice and uh, goodness uh, and in that atmosphere it is possible for the new world teacher to, to arrive and I don't think he will be riding down the streets of Copenhagen on a donkey you know <laughs> uh, it will be a much more modern event mm. uh, and before he comes there will be a lot of enlightened politi politicians, scientists, uh, artists that also will uh, prepare uh, the way. So it, it will not be the way we saw in Palestine for, for, for 2,000 years. Hmm. So if we can get that message out and, uh, and, and live reasonably lives, uh, being a good citizens, then I think uh, we have, we have uh, perhaps uh, <laughs> a chance to, to uh, convince that 
it is actually it's, it is actually a reality. Yeah, yeah. And people could try the mantra, uh, try to connect into it, yeah. and see is this enhancing their love capability or not. Uh, so give it a go. Is uh, is my suggestion. Okay.